five tips from tip on how to make money moves in business. Now, this information comes from over a decade of experience, close to two decades of experience, but I don't want to age myself. I'm just going to let you know that you would benefit from partaking in such valuable information. The first tip, expect to work hard, okay? Just because you see me live a glamorous life and you see me ride nice cars, wear shiny jewelry and you know, fashionable clothing, doesn't mean that I lay back and sleep until 2 p.m. and don't do anything all day. That is not possible. In order to have more than everyone else, a better car than everyone else, a better house than everyone else, you simply must work harder than everyone else, period. Number two, big risk, big reward. If you are not a risk taker, you need to find something safe to do, okay? You need to go somewhere where people will tell you exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Report to a person who knows more than you, and then you know you can like color within the lines, all right? But if not, if you are looking to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be a CEO, if you want to get out there and apply your efforts, your energy, your ideas to the, to, the, to the business, you have to be willing to take risks. You cannot be so afraid to fail that you don't take risks because when you don't take risks, you have a less opportunity to win. Number three, given the last tip, I think this tip is very important. What you do with a dime is what you will do with a dollar, okay? And what I mean by that is, if you have a 10 cent budget and you exceed that 10 cent budget by 100%, if you turn a 10 cent budget into a 20 cent budget, when you get a $1 budget, you are going to do the same thing, okay? You must be aware of your profits and losses, okay? Now, I, I told you to take risks, but they are calculated, educated risks. You don't just go out there throwing money at problems you didn't think hard enough to solve. Number four, the key to promoting yourself or your business is showcase your strengths and overcompensate for your weaknesses. Do not walk in a room anytime showcasing your weaknesses, okay? If it did not work out for you, don't mention it unless it's mentioned to you first. Okay, don't walk in and say, yeah, you know, I went to, uh, I went to NYU, but I, 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 I didn't finish. I dropped that. Like, whoa, why are you saying that? Like, don't do that. Cause I was just like into you until you gave me a reason to not be into you. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk yourself out of bed. You know what I'm saying? That, now, now that's, you know, back in my earlier years as a teenager. We used to say, you know what I'm saying, you know, you're going to talk yourself right out the bed. We didn't say, we didn't use the word bed, but you get it. Showcase your strengths and just kind of shield your weaknesses as much as possible. Okay, number five, tips, business tips. Okay, we got here so quick. It's all fun and games when you are imparting wisdom upon the public. Follow your passion, because if you do what you love for a living, you'll never work a day in your life. You wanna learn more tips from Tip in Business, man? I'll tell you what you do. Tune in for the premiere of my new show, The Grand Hustle, coming soon. 
enough, just check your local listings.